The long wait is over. The Windows Phone 7 is out. Try to collect them all. You're watching TechSpace. So as any tech nerd could tell you, the Windows Phone 7 OS has finally made its big splash onto the scenes. Watch out iPhone, Android take a seat, there's a new guy in town. Remember the mock funeral Microsoft held for the competition? And it's no surprise that after all that hype and spending a rumored $100 million on an ad blitz, that the Windows Phone 7 sales have been through the roof and easily beat that of the iPhone and Android and all other phones ever made combined. Hold on, what's that? They, all right. Sorry folks, it turns out I'm wrong. As a matter of fact, the street.com is reporting that their sources claim that only 40,000 Windows Phone 7s were sold on launch day. Compare that with iPhone's 270,000 and Android's 200,000 a day. Sad. Now, what's the problem here? Could it be the weird ads? Or maybe people don't like funny ads. Really? Really? Really. Or maybe it's like Michael Cote, an industry strategist, says, Mondays aren't great launch days. They poured all that cash into it, but they lost track of the fact that Fridays or Saturdays are the best launch days. I don't know. Personally, I think the problem has three parts. One, what the f*** is Windows Phone 7? I mean, really, unless I seriously try to find information about it, the ads don't really tell me much. Compare that with the iPhone ads that show how simple the thing is to use. Did somebody say calamari? The closest would be... Ah. Next, and this is a real problem. It's called Windows 7 phone. Really? Really? And guess what? People aren't really in love with Windows. Really? Finally, when you buy an iPhone, you get an iPhone. If you want to buy a Windows 7 phone, which one are you going to buy? Microsoft doesn't make the hardware, just the OS. You can get the HTC surround sound with Surround sound speakers, it's a phone, I don't get it. The Samsung Focus, LG Quantum, HTC HD7, Dell Venue Pro, LG Optimus 7, HTC Mozart, Samsung Omnia 7, or the HTC 7 Trophy, or how about the LG Optimus 7Q? Really? Okay, so picture your mom and dad walk into the AT&T store here in the United States and they want to buy a new phone so they can use that fancy new app they heard about on the news. A smartphone, I think it's called, they say to the sales guy. Are they more likely to pick a phone just because it has a 7 in the name and runs on the OS that they have no idea what it does? Or will they buy the iPhone, which is dead simple, currently only comes in one color, and is, well, an iPhone? Yeah, that's what I thought. Anyway, it's not the end of the line for Windows 7 phones. People are buying them, and some of the reviews are really good. The problem, like with all Microsoft products that aren't the Xbox, is that it's a cluster f Too many things. Like with our operating systems, the choices confuse everyone but the nerdiest of consumers. Anyway, only time will tell how Windows 7 phones will stack up after Black Friday sales and the holiday shopping seasons are over. But unfortunately for Microsoft, by the time sales really hit their stride, Apple will be coming out with a new iPhone. Well, that's it for today. Be sure to check out our other videos and subscribe on YouTube. Oh, and won't you be our friend on Facebook? Then all your friends will know that you have impeccable taste in online video tech blog funny things starring James Papadopoulos. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.